Hey everybody, it's funny what a difference the right light makes. But uh, as you can see, I got some batteries charging over here, which is kind of funny because I also have batteries charging over there. You can see those ones a lot easier. We'll get to that for in a bit. But uh, these are my father's batteries. Uh, as you, a lot of you probably well know, he lives off grid. Anyways, uh, they're due. And you can see they're burbling away. I just started charging them. I'm not wearing protective gear, but don't worry, I'm standing quite far away. If it splatters three feet and takes my vision out, well, I'm doomed anyways. But anyways, as you see, we're, uh, right now it's on a 20 amp charge. We're on 14.7 volts. Uh, 21 amps, it's dumping in, it says. It says it's 90% charged because it's on auto. Probably gonna have to change that. Because the specific gravity is in the shitter. But it also has uh, fresh electrolyte uh, to top the batteries up with some fresh water so it's hard to say where they're actually at and on the other hand I got my own batteries and my mess of stuff here my garage was so clean hours ago but I've been bringing in everything from outside and, well it's turning into a clusterfuck again um, but I got these batteries here uh, that one there is my tractor battery I'm hoping that it'll come back because it doesn't seem to have the gumption it once did. But, uh, it, you know, may or may not come back. It's, you know, it's had a hard life. But I got these other three batteries here this one, that one, and this one that I picked up from work. And uh, I'm hoping I can get them to uh, charge up a bit. They all got worn down a bit different ways. Just leaving them hooked up when I shouldn't have, really. So, uh, I just gotta hook them, like right now, I got the 20 amp charger, or, well, actually it's a 55 amp charger, it's got the start option, but, uh, regardless, it's, uh, just on the 2 amp setting on a trickle charge, but I have it charging this one and that one, and I'm gonna charge them up, you know, up for a few days. Leave them sit for, you know, probably two, three days on this charge. And then uh, Wednesday, this is Sunday night, you know, Wednesday or Thursday. I'll uh, switch them up to the other batteries and then I'll check them, check their specific gravity. And if it's not high enough, then uh, I'll look at uh, giving them a little higher voltage. And uh, playing the game of trying to rejuvenate them a little bit. But I don't want to let them down because the weather's getting colder and uh, if you let your batteries down this time of year, uh, they'll never come back next year. Oh yes, and today I didn't film it, but uh, I changed myself a tire, a truck tire by hand. Um, I think I showed in another video that I got some new rims for my truck. Well, one of them was off the rim and that was this one. Uh, the bead was broke and uh, it was flat. And, I don't know, I just wanted it, you know, more functional. So, uh, I popped on uh, a tire I had that happened to be the exact same size, sitting outside. And it happened to work out great, except the valve stem leaked. All I used was those two things there. The big thing was, was the bead was already broken. But, uh, it seemed to seat up fine and everything. It wasn't that big of a job. You can even see the prints there from where I did it. Which is kind of neat. It was ne never something I expected to do uh, <laughs> this weekend, that's for sure. I just kind of decided to do it. And hey, you know, I did that tractor tire. If I can do a tractor tire, I should be able to do a little truck tire. And sure enough, it's not that bad. You know, I've done worse, that's for sure. Like a tractor tire. <laughs> Anyways, guys, doesn't this white wall make a huge difference? 
it's very dark in here, but yet, you know, you can still see quite well. But not over there. It's dark. It's, over there's not so bad, but God, I got so much stuff. I got all these weed whackers. Uh, one of them's my one that I use, the green one. I don't know how well you can see it, but uh, then there's this red one with the yellow pull cord. That one actually, I think, will run. I just gotta spool up some wire or some cutter twine in the end. And this one has a uh, pull start issue. But uh, other than that, it looks good to go. So, you know, I have a good selection of those. Oh, yeah, there's another battery that I have. That one's already fully charged, so it's good to go. And my pressure washers, I had uh, one I picked out of the garbage, but I, when I, I tried hooking it up today and I hooked it up and it blew apart and started spewing water everywhere. So I got my old one there. I know that one works, but the fittings were gone and the hose is gone. But I got other hoses and I think I got the right fitting. Focus isn't working out for me tonight. <clears throat> Maybe it knows I've had a couple beer too. But, uh, yeah, I, I think I can just uh, stick a couple new fittings on there and make that one work anyways. So that's good, you know. At least I can still use it because, you know, at least it works. Uh, this other one I have, it should work. It's just it needs a switch put in it. So maybe I can harvest the switch from the other one. I don't know. But that's a whole other ball game. But anyways, I just thought I'd th show you some shop stuff and how much a difference. I should f even throw a fresh coat of paint. Bet you just a fresh coat of white on that door would brighten it up that much more. I gotta do this wall here. Like, look at the difference. It is amazing. Like, how much you can see and you can't just because of the white paint. But, uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to do more of that. But, that'll come. There's lots of other things to do. In the meantime, stop what you're doing. Hit the subscribe button. And keep watching my videos. Or else I'll keep zooming at the stop sign indefinitely. And you'll become one with it. Oh, God, no!